ladies, hey, congratulations for uh, this documentary on uh, Jackie Collins, the uh, lady boss here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, most importantly, congratulations for uh, showcasing it at the, the, the Tribeca this year. How, how does that feel? Um, well, well, for me as the director, it's absolutely thrilling. Um, you know, we during the pandemic, we just didn't know what was going to happen. And the idea that the film would actually be opening at an in-person festival like Tribeca was just kind of our wildest dreams. So it's just so exciting to be here and be sharing this film with New York. Um, so we're, we're thrilled. I think it's a wonderful story to, uh, to actually share. So, uh, Laura. Um, what actually sparked you to make this documentary in the first place? Um, well, in the past, I've made some kind of quite different films about subject matters that were, you know, took me to war zones and dangerous corners of the world. And I'd made a very conscious decision that I really wanted to start making films about women and telling female stories and inspiring stories. So I was looking to make a film about a fabulous woman. That's I had that in my mind. And John Batsek, who's a producer I work with, um, you know, we were meeting and I said this to him, I just want to make a film about a fabulous woman. And he said, well, it's strange you should say that because Jackie Collins has just sort of landed on my desk. What do you think? And I was like, oh my God, she was my sex education at school. I love her. And that was the beginning of this incredible journey that I've been on. And obviously with Rory and Tiffany, Jackie's daughters and Tracy, um, that was the beginning of this, this beautiful story that I was allowed to explore and tell and share with everyone. Rory, Rory Tiffany, was it easy to be convinced to be a uh, part of this documentary? And why do you suppose that this is such an important story to tell? Well, we were very particular about who we wanted to work with. And so we had been introduced to John. And then when he brought Laura onto the project and we met her and also um, the other producer, Lizzie Gillett, it became very clear to us that, yes, we were going to entrust these extraordinary women with our mother's story, which is an extraordinary story. So I think that trust was really important to us. And once we met them, it was clear that they that Laura had a vision that really aligned with the kind of film that we, we, we really wanted to tell a, a more dimensional side of our mother's story. And we wanted the film to be surprising and unexpected because there was so much more to her than people um, knew about. So it, it wasn't, yeah, it was, it was been a really wonderful experience, a very, a very rewarding experience for all of us. Tiffany, you want to add anything? Yeah, yeah, the, I agree with Rory. You know, um, our mother's story is such a special story. And for us, it was just, it was so important that that be told. Um, you know, she she left behind this massive archive that was so, um, it's so beautiful and so big. And I'll never forget, Rory and I were going through everything and we just looked at each other and we just said, she needs a documentary made about her life. She, she just, she was so inspirational to so many women and it's so important to get that message across to her readers, to her fans, but also to introduce her to new fans because we we want to continue that legacy. We want to honor her legacy in that way. And that's what this film is doing. For any of you, um, in, in your opinion, um, because uh, you know her life has been documented for such a long time by various outlets and so on. What do you suppose is the most misunderstood thing about her? Or why don't um, answer that? Go, go ahead. Um, well, I think that um, Jackie's public persona gave um, give, gave people the impression that she was all powerful, untouchable. Um, you know, this kind of superwoman, and of course. You know, behind that persona is a real person who has her vulnerabilities, her complexities, you know, messy parts of her life. So that's just, you know, what I love about her is that you have these these two very opposite sides, this woman that you kind of can, can look up to in the leopard print shoulder pads and this extraordinary career and this this super strong woman. But, you know, behind it is, is a universal story of a woman who, like all of us, um, you know, has to follow the path of life and have difficult times as well as, you know, great times. And, and so Jackie is just this surprising combination of, of, of two opposite, opposite dimensions. And I hope that the film, you know, brings that to life. <laughs> I think one, the wonderful thing that, uh, that was brought into this film was uh, her journals, reading her journals. I can't imagine um, reading anyone's journals. 
I, one time I read my father's journals and I kind of regretted that. Rory, Tiffany, what was it like, uh, you know, going through that path and um, opening up her books and reading about the light in her words? I think it was, um, it, w it was cool for us because, you know, we'd, we'd heard certain stories, you know, for instance, the Marlon Brando story, we'd heard that, but, you know, we, when, when we actually saw it written in the journal, it was like a wow moment for us. We were like, look, it's actually recorded right here. It was like, we, we'd heard this story told, this sort of urban legend, and there it was, you know, it actually happened. And so it was, it was, it was really fun to see that um, because it was kind of like eye-opening and a, a, it was a, a nice experience that we were able to share that. And I, I think we felt quite strongly she left everything behind. She didn't, you know, she could have chosen not to. So we felt that that, and she didn't necessarily speak to us about that before she died, but we felt that that was this unspoken permission because she wanted to tell her story. She was just about to write her autobiography. She was just a storyteller at heart. And she had this amazing story that, you know, she, I think she wanted the world to know. So, um, so it was very, you know, it was very empowering for us actually to find her story in her own words. And that's what Laura was able to do. We felt so beautifully was to weave our mother's voice into the film. And she said that from the beginning, she said, I want Jackie to be very much alive in this film. And I think that definitely comes across. And um, in, in any of your opinions, what do you suppose is her most important legacy that she, she wanted to, you know, leave an imprint behind? Well, she was fighting against the double standard. You know, she was a trailblazer. She was doing this. She was writing about these kind of issues long before the hashtag Time's Up, Me, Me Too movements. You know, she was an absolute trailblazer. She was really fighting for women's sexuality, women's independence, women's freedom, and that double standard, you know? And she she's really she really was an icon because she was doing it a long time ago when, when many women were not. And so we really feel that she's a trailblazer in her own right. Oh, most most excellent. And and Laura, honestly, how much footage and uh, documents did you actually have to go through? This must have taken you months and years. Oh yeah, no, it did. Um, well, we had something like four thousand pieces of archive. And you know, when I first went to LA to meet with Rory and Tiffany and came to Tiffany's house, she just let me into her front room, and it was just piled up with boxes and tables, just covered in the whole of Jackie's life, you know, she'd kept everything. And so, I mean, firstly, that was just kind of more than I could have imagined we were going to be given, but also just this incredible, pure, authentic connection to Jackie and her whole life just laid before me. So, um, you know, at the beginning, it was slightly overwhelming, but at the same time, it was just completely brilliant to have all of that to, to um, access and just so many options um, so that I could just really, you know, then start peeling back the layers and get to the, the heart of her story and who she was. That is awesome to hear. And, and, and Laura, just curious, have you read all her books? <laughs> I haven't read all of them, but I've read a lot of them. You know, I started reading them as a teenager at school, age 15 or 16, and, you know, they were hidden under the desk in maths lessons, you know, going through looking for the sex scene with my friends, and, you know, so it was wonderful to be able to revisit them. Um, and oh, they're just so great, and I just love the fact they, you know, obviously spanned her whole life. And for me, what I just kind of really enjoyed this time around reading them was trying to find Jackie within them. And, and it's amazing that you almost find her most authentic voice in her fictional writing. She puts so much of her own experiences and her observations into her books. And so it's just wonderful to see her inner voice coming through in these fantastical stories. Excellent. And now one more thing before, before I go here. Um, as audiences get to check out this documentary, what is the one most important take that you hope that they walk away with? Anyone? That, um, well, like I, I say it in the film, our mom's motto was girls can do anything. And so it's, I, it's really important. I, you know, we want, we want women, we want anybody to walk away from that film and see that even, you know, through adversity, you can triumph, you can get through things and, um, you know, you can do anything, girls can do anything. That's, it's a very important message in the film. Hmm. She was so inspiring to so many women. And I think that, you know, her message of um, self-agency 
um, and self empowerment was really important. And we want, you know, we know that people who already feel so inspired by her will take that away. But I think so often um, during her career, she was maybe just dismissed as just, you know, a, somebody that was writing kind of, uh, you know, beach reads that books that didn't really hold much substance. But uh, you know, her work was incredibly meaningful to many, many women and became like a lifeline to them because she showed them, she showed them the possibility of what women could achieve. She was doing it herself, but also her characters reflected that. Most excellent. Well, congratulations, ladies, uh, for the documentary. It's quite enjoyable, and I hope a lot of people will, will see this. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.